I am on my desktop here. I'm going to ADB shell to connect to my phone through USB. Now I can say echo test echo hello and run a command like date. Now if I hit up arrow you can see I have a history of those things. But if I was to exit out and go back in, I hit up arrow, I have lost that history. Why is that? Well if I echo out home, you can see my home directory is set to the root system of the phone which I don't have right access to. Uh, even as root, it's a read-only system. Now I do have BusyBox installed which also allows me to run the BusyBox shell which in my opinion is a better shell than the default shell on the Android system and uh, it also allows for history but again it doesn't save it because it still thinks my home directory is the root directory. Now I can change what my root directory is, or my home directory is. Let me go ahead and exit out of this. What we're going to do is I'm going to start ADV with this command. What I'm doing is I'm running ADB shell. I'm going to say dash T to basically execute this next thing. I'm going to say export the variable home and I'm using data local temp which is the default temporary directory on your Android system. Although it's a little different than the temp directory on a standard Linux system that gets wiped every time you reboot your system. Nothing in here gets wiped when you reboot as far as I know. Uh, but you can use any directory. You should be able to use your internal storage or your SD card, something that you have right access to. This particular directory, all users on your phone have right access to. After that, we're going to start BusyBox SH. So I'm going to run that, and now I can say echo hello, echo this is a test, run the date command. Again, if I hit up arrow a couple times, you can see that I have that history, but if I exit out and run that command again, you can see my history has been saved. So that is great. Now let's do the same thing, but let's add something to it. Uh, I do have my phone rooted, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the same command, but add su-c and run the same command. So now I've started up as root, and you can see that I have that history built in there. Now because I gave it the same home directory, the two users are sharing the same history. You may or may not want that. You can give them different home directories if you want to have separate history files. Now, of course, you don't want to type out the, that full command every time. So what you can do is in the RC file on your desktop for your system, you can create aliases like so. There'll be links to all this in the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste this. Uh, but now I can say ADB shell without a space. It starts up BusyBox with my home directory set, and now you can see I have my history. If I exit out, I can now say ADBSU, again, no space, and now I'm running as root uh, ADB, and I have my history, and if I CD to my home directory, you can see my home directory is set to that temp directory. Of course, you pick what directory you want to use. That's it. Quick little simple tutorial. I hope you found this useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Remember that I do have a Patreon page. There's a link in the description of this video. I also now do YouTube membership. Check that out if you want to get early access to stuff or, of course, through Patreon. I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Have a great day.